all right guys so the new update is out and there are a couple things that you guys need to do right away right now in order to take advantage of all the things that this new update is going to be giving you and the first one is going to be the special episode and this is going to apply to all the players who have pretty much cleared up to 12-30 which is going to allow you to unlock cookie odyssey and uh, you guys can see that now it is going to be incorporated into this special episode uh, feature, which is going to have the Legend of the Red Dragon as well as the Cookie Odyssey. If you guys did not finish Cookie Odyssey completely, all right, then you guys are currently able to purchase the episodes of the Legend of the Red Dragon with 300 crystals. It is on sale right now, so make sure to go and unlock it even if you don't plan to do this right away, although you should be doing it. Uh, and if this sale ends, I believe it's going to be a total of 3,000 crystals. 300 is super cheap. Make sure to do it. And once you go into it, there's going to be a lot of different things and you're going to have some questions. All right. First of all, if you guys are logging into the game right now before the reset happens and you guys still have time, go and watch all the ads in order to get the extra quills. The first thing that is different from the Legend of the Red Dragon episodes as well as the Cookie Odyssey is that you do not have missions to get these quills, all right? Cookie Odyssey has these missions where you're able to get these quills and you're limited to 10 missions per day. However, for the Legend of the Red Dragon episodes, you are going to gain quills by time just like how it is for, you know, the keys for Cookie Alliance as well as for the uh, keys for like Tower of Sea Chaos. And also, you're able to either purchase it through crystals or watch ads in order to gain some extra refresh. Or, if that is not the case, then you're going to have to go and, you know, do missions uh, through the events or just buy them straight up with money. So, the first thing you should do before the reset, if you guys are logging in, is to purchase or, uh, you know, watch the ads for the extra quills. And then the next thing you guys should definitely be doing is, first of all, do not go for the chest, all right? Um, go through the entire story. And the first thing you should try and do is go to this Dragon City Square. The reason why I say this is because a lot of people are going to be having this question while you guys are playing this game mode. Where in the world do I spend this Dragon Catnip coins? All right. And in order to spend this, you're going to have to go to the Dragon City Square and talk to this particular NPC to unlock the dragon city shop all right and this is where you're going to be able to spend your catnip coins and purchase different rewards that i have also shared during the update breakdown all right so first of all i don't know exactly how many coins you're able to get and if whether you're able to purchase every little thing from the city shop or not that's why i plan to not purchase anything all right and see how much coins you're able to get but if you guys are planning to uh you know purchase anything the first four things that I actually recommend you guys to purchase are going to be, of course, the Soul Stone, the Toppings, the Skill Powders, and the last one right over here, the Star Jelly Concentrate. All right, these are the four things that I recommend every single player to go for first, and then rest of them, uh, you know, it's really going to depend on what you guys are going to need. All right, but that's really going to be the quick, uh, you know, guide for the uh, spending as of right now. And once again, once I know the exact number, I will update that and let you guys know. Uh, and then after that, all right, what I recommend you guys to do is, you know, just complete the story and do as many of these as possible because you are going to get more catnip coins and more rewards as you guys complete these missions. One thing, however, I recommend you guys to stay away from, all right, is once you guys go through this and you guys talk to uh, your uh, royal margarine cookie, uh, then you're going to be able to go to this right over here, which is going to be called Cinnamon Valley Wyvern. This is going to be a little mini game, all right, just like how it was with the uh, Golem as well as the other, you know, the, the ones that we had where you're going to have to go and, you know, use your coins and use your little uh, extra currencies to upgrade your buffs and try to get as high points as possible. The rewards are actually pretty darn nice. It's going to be very similar to how it was with the Black Pearl Island and the Dream Express and things like that to gain some soul stones, crystals, and rainbow cubes and coins. However, the reason why I say stay away from this is because first, you have 47 days in order to complete this minigame, all right? So you have a ton of time and it's not going to refresh, uh, you know, there's no extra seasons and stuff like that. 
it's just one time thing and the second thing is you have to use quill in order to attempt each challenge so the reason why i say stay away from it is because your first priority should be completing the story and going as far as you guys can to complete every little uh, mission that you guys can so you don't want to be wasting your quills on uh you know trying the attempts here for the cinnamon valley wyvern all right so it's not worth it stay away from it and use your quills to do your story all right so first of all again guys make sure to go through the entire thing reach the dragon city square and then after that you guys can continue on and you know do all the little missions and which will give you guys a bunch of extra stuff all right and uh you know the thing is of course make sure to go and refresh the quills as much as possible the next thing that is going to come with this special episode is going to be the hall of encounter this is actually going to be really 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 important and you guys want to take advantage of this because this has particular buffs that are going to be applied to these four cookies in front of you which is going to be pataya Hollowberry, Wildberry, as well as Royal Margarine Cookie. So as you guys go and complete missions and quests, you're going to be able to get these uh, Hall of Encounter levels. And with it, you're going to be able to gain various rewards. And one of those rewards are going to be the random reward chest, which is going to give you guys stuff for the monument, as well as the Unity Essence, which is going to allow you guys to upgrade your parts, all right, within the monument. All right, so the reason why I say uh, this is really, really important is because of the stats that you're actually able to get from this monument. So you actually don't want to be slacking off on this. All right, so you guys can see right here, Hall of Encounter cookies are going to be gaining attack as well as uh, crit damage, defense, HP, uh, crit, and uh, there's other buffs that you're going to gain like in the world exploration, extra attack, uh, extra attack, HP, and defense in special episodes. Uh, cookie alliance and also inside of the arena you're gonna be getting extra damage of this all right uh this one however right here the hall of encounter cookies attack defense crit damage up and hp and crit percentage this is actually being applied to every single game mode which includes world exploration cookie alliance guild boss battle you know uh the tower suite chaos and most importantly arena so you do not want to be slacking off on this if you guys want to take advantage of this buff inside of the arena and how can i tell from this is because i have tested this out inside of the arena and i'll show you guys right now as well so if you guys look at the bottom right over here you're going to be able to see right that there is a special buff all right and it is going to be the monument of the encounter buff so right now my hollowberry as well as pataya are actually getting extra attack buff all right just by having that monument you know activated and the little pieces you know uh you know there to actually give those buff and i'm actually able to even increase that right by using the unity essence so you do not want to be slacking off on the monument and you want to be taking advantage of it because if you're not using it then you're missing out on free buff that your pataya that you potentially have already pulled or your Hollowberry that you're using inside of the arena, or even Royal Margarine as well as Wildberry are able to take advantage of. But one thing that you guys do need to realize is that this is not going to be something that's permanent, and it is going to last a total of 47 days and 14 hours, which is the duration of the current update. Uh, so just keep in mind, you just want to take advantage of it while you guys can. Uh, so just don't slack off on it. And as for the Unity Essence, I would personally recommend you guys to use it on uh, the buffs that are going to be used for every single game mode, like uh, the current top uh, five right here, where it's going to be the uh, you know attack, defense, crit damage up, HP, as well as crit percentage, because the rest of them are just for specific ones. So I would say uh, the top five are probably going to be the ones that is going to benefit you the most so with the new story mode there is a ton of events as well so make sure to take advantage of everything guys the after the mighty red dragon the red dragon awakens and even the past is going to have a lot of things that are going to incorporate it with the actual story so take advantage of everything i would say this is really really uh nicely designed it's way better than the odyssey in my opinion it's a lot uh, cleaner as well uh, without having this all craziness that you had with Odyssey where you had to go and click on specific ones 
and in my opinion the story is really really uh, nicely designed as well there's a lot of lore behind it so for you guys who enjoy the story and the lore is definitely going to be something that you guys would enjoy also just keep in mind this is a story mode uh there's also hard mode once you guys do complete the story mode completely as well so there's a ton of things for you guys to take advantage of ton of rewards so hope you guys enjoyed make sure to do the things that i've already mentioned before uh and you know maximize the amount of quills and uh, rewards that you're able to get from this particular event hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys found the video helpful good luck with your gotchas as well guys and yeah just check out my pataya dragon first impression review that i have already posted as well thanks for watching